Okay, so let's look at the solution of this paper. Question. Simplify a square b to the power negative 3 over a times b to the power negative 4 bracket to the power negative 5. And express your answer with positive index. Okay, first one, write down the expressions a square b negative 3 a times b to the power negative 4 and whole power negative 5. First of all, you remove the bracket. Okay, you can multiply this negative 5 inside the bracket. So that's become a to the power negative 5. And that's a hidden one here, remember. Okay, so 1 times negative 5. That is negative 5. And b, that is positive 20. And next, a square b to the power negative 3. You just keep it. Hence, you can present your answer by doing the subtraction of the index of the same basis. a square over a to the power 5. That's a to the power 7. And how do we get this one? That is actually 2 minus negative 5. So b to the power negative 3 over b to the power 20, that's b to the power negative 23. Again, this negative 23 is come from negative 3 minus 20. But don't forget, you need to express your answer with positive index. So you need to change this one, b to the power negative 23 to positive. And hence, your answer should be a to the power 7 over b to the power 23. That is your answer for question number 1. So let's move to question number 2. You should make s the subject of the formula. 2s equals to k plus k bracket s plus 1. As you can see, here is an s on right hand side. And left hand side is another s. So you need to transfer this s to an other side on the same side so first one 2s equals to k plus k bracket s plus 1 and remember you need to do the multiplication first so this k should multiply inside the bracket to each of them then you will get k plus k times s plus k so here you can see that this term positive Ks, you should move the other side becomes negative Ks, and here, remember to simplify this k plus k, actually that's two k. So, you can take out the common factor s on left hand side s bracket two minus k equals two k, and now you can do the division by moving this factor two minus k on the denominator of this side. So final answer, s equals 2k over 2 minus k. That is your answer. And then let's move to question number three. Okay, it's an example of factorization. So part A, you need to factorize this one. x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's quite straightforward because Actually, you are just applying the formula of the perfect square a square plus 2ab plus b square. In here, what is b? Actually, b is 1, but we omit this because 2 times x times 1, it, that is 2x. And 1 can be regarded as 1 square. So you can directly write that as x plus 1 and then bracket square. So go to part b x squared minus 9y squared plus 2x plus 1 and many of you may try to look in this way x squared minus 9y squared they want to use the formula of different of 2 squared you can do it at the very beginning but after you do this you will observe that you cannot further factorize the expressions remained okay so it is not the possible way to factorize x squared minus 9y squared first so that's the hint look at part a you need to grouping up of three terms x squared plus 2x plus 1 we do the same way in part b so move 2x plus 1 in front of it and then 9y squared behind it so you can see that we can apply the result of a x minus 1 all square, 9 minus 9 y square. And remember, if you can apply the result of a, you still get one mark. 
even though you cannot get the correct answer in part A, but if you can apply the results of part A, you still can get one math formula. Here, you can observe that that is something a squared minus 9b squared, right? So, you can apply the formula that is a plus 3b times a minus 3b. Why? Because this one can be further simplified is a squared minus 3b bracket squared, actually. So, the format of different of 2 squared, and hence, you can present in this way, x plus 1 plus 3y times x plus 1 minus 3y. So, that is the final answer of this question. And then we move to question number four. So the cost of t-shirt is $30 and the mark price is 240% higher than its cost and sold at a discount of 10%. Part A find the selling price, part B find the profit. In here, if the question about the percentage related to cost, mark price and selling price, you need to write down the CMS model. That is cost price, mark price and selling price. The cost price is $30 and you add as a 240% to become the market price and then sell a discount of 10%, so multiply to 0 0.9, you will get the selling price. So let's find the mark price and the selling price. Mark price would be equals to the original cost 30 times 1 plus 240 percent not just 240 percent okay because the question is talking about 240 higher than its cost that means the original base is one you need to add on 240 percent so the expression will be in this way and you press the calculator 30 times 1 plus 2.4 that is 102, $102. And the selling price will be $102 multiplied with 0 0.9. That you can get $91.8. That's part A. So let's move to part B. In puppy, you need to find the profit, so we write down profit that would be $91.8, the selling price minus the cost, $30. So that is final answer, $61.8. That's it. Let's finish question number four. Remember, every time you are considering the cost price, mark price, and selling price, you should consider such kind of the CMS model then plug in the number and set up the equation to solve this. They're quite straightforward. So question number five, this concept about the run up, run down, and run off. A, run up this number to the nearest integer. So the integer, one, two, three, up to here, you need to consider this one. It is zero, but you need to do it running up. That means you always plus one here. So the answer would be 124, okay? Part B, you need to run down this number to two decimal place. So decimal point here, one, two decimal place, the second one here. So you need to look at this six. Usually, if you are doing running off, you need to move one unit up, okay? But here, it's running down. That means you must not add. Always don't add this. So the answer is one, two, three, point zero, four. And part C, run off the number to four significant figure. One, two, three, four. This is the fourth significant figure. Okay? So you look at this four. The fifth significant figure. You are doing running off. So this number is less than five. So you would not run it up. You would not run it up. So the final answer, one, two, three point zero. You must add this zero because you are considering four significant figures. Okay? So that's finish of question number five. And then question number six, you need to simplify this fraction. The first one, what you need to do is, okay, write down the fraction first. And every time when you are doing the addition, subtraction, or even multiplication or division of the fractions, if there are more than one terms, 
in the numerator or denominator, add the bracket to it. Then, find the LCM. In this case, you just multiply these two factors together. So in numerator, 4x will multiply to 15x plus 2 and negative 3x. Remember, you multiply the factor that is 20x minus 3, you should have the bracket to it. Next step, the denominator, no need to do any action, just keep it. Numerator, you need to multiply this term inside the bracket. 4x times 15x, 60x squared. 4x times positive 2 plus 8x. Negative 3x multiply negative uh, positive 20x, negative 60x squared. Negative 3x times negative 3, so positive 9x. And you can see that the final answer you will get that is the numerator 17x. And the second one will be 20x minus 3 times 50x plus 2. So that is the final answer. That is the solution of question number 6. And go to question number 7. In triangle ABC, AB is perpendicular to BC. D is the foot of perpendicular from B to AC. A, you need to prove that triangle ABD similar to triangle BCD. When you look at such kind of question, you need to draw the figure by yourself. Okay? A, B, C, right? Okay, AB is perpendicular to BC. And then D is the foot of perpendicular from B to AC. So you will draw something like this. D is lying on AC and BD will perpendicular to AC. That's the meaning of foot of perpendicular means. Okay? So you need to prove triangle A, B, D, similar to triangle B, C, D. Okay, let's look at how do we do this. First of all, we can let this angle be theta. So try to calculate this angle. Actually, it is 90 degree minus theta, right? On the other hand, this angle will be 90 degree minus this angle. So it's theta again. Finally, this angle will be 90 degree minus theta. So you can split this figure into two small figures. The first one will be this one. A, B, D, and this is theta, and this is 90 degree minus theta. And the second triangle, B, C, D, this is theta, and the other one is 90 degree minus theta. So you can find that all angles are equal and hence they are similar triangles. So let's write down the proof. In triangle A, B, D, triangle B, C, D, we let angle B, A, D be theta, then angle A, B, D would equal to 90 degree minus theta. So angle B, D, B, C would be equal to the right angle here minus 90 degree minus theta. How do we present this? Pay attention, 90 degree minus bracket, 90 degree minus theta equals to theta. And therefore, you can see that angle B, A, D would equal to angle D, B, C equals theta. Okay, first pair angles equal, and second pairs, uh, right angle, okay. Angle ADB equals angle BDC equals 90 degree. That's given, right? So in two triangles, if two pairs of triangles are equal, you can conclude that these two triangles are similar because the third pair must be similar uh, equals also. Reason AAA. In some textbook or some exam paper, they will present the solution AA, but I prefer using AAA, okay? Part B. Now, look at the question again. Find the area of this big triangle, ABC, if AD, that is 54, 
and C D in 24. Okay, you may find that the graph I draw may not be on square, but actually it doesn't matter. Okay, the concept is how try to grab the concept. So you can look at this one. If we can find B D, then you can find the area of triangle A B C, right? So look at B D. I want B D, and you need to know C D, and I want BD, then you need to know, okay, AD. So, just match up the order of the letters. AD will match with BD, right? Okay, the letters order, one, three, one, three. Would you go through, okay, BD over CD. Okay, match the order, two, three, two, three. Reason, corresponding size, of similar triangle. Therefore, you can substitute your number here. AD that is 54, BD is unknown, and CD that is 24. And you can find that BD times BD, that's BD bracket square, equals to 54 times 22, 24. 1296. So you can get BD that is 36. Of course, the negative answer would not be needed, okay? Therefore, area of triangle A, B, C, that would be the base 54 plus 24 times 36 over 2. Okay? Then you can get the final answer 1404. Okay? So that's the case. The base times the height and then over 2. The whole area of track ABC could be found. So that's the end of the question number seven. So move to question number eight. When you look at this one, how do we read this? That's mean. How many fours are there? Five of them. How many five are there? N of them. How many six are there? 18 of them. How many seven are there? 15 of them. How many x are there? 16 of them. Now A, suppose the mole of the data is 16, okay? That's mean the greatest frequency is 16, 18. Write down the greatest possible value of n. That's mean n cannot equal to 18. Because if n equals to 18, the mole will be 5 and 6. Also, n cannot greater than 18. If n greater than 18, that's mean the mole will become 5. It does not satisfy this. Therefore, in part A, you just have N is 17. The greatest possible value of N. At most, 17. Okay? So, D. The median of data is 6. Find the greatest possible value of N and the least possible value of N. So, let's look at the case. When would N be the greatest if the if the first six is the median, then n would be the greatest. Okay, so let's see what's happened. And suppose there's a four, 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 okay, five or four, and then five, okay, n of them, and then six, 18 of six, and then 15 of seven, and then 16 of 8. So if the first 6 would be the median, then it cut the data into two parts. Left hand side would be have containing m plus 5 data, and the right hand side would contain 18 minus 1, that's 17, because you get one of the 6 as the median. So remaining 17 plus 15 plus 16 as the number of data on right hand side. And these two numbers should be the same because you are talking about the media. So, n plus 5 would equal to 17 plus 15 plus 16. And hence, you can find 5 to 6, 17 plus 15 plus 16, and then minus 5. And it's 43. So, the greatest possible n is 43. And next, 
when would the least possible when the offense comes out? That is, if the last six is the median, then let's see what's happened. So again, there's a five or four. That is a n of five, and then eighteen of six, and so on. Fifteen of seven, and then. 16 of 8 so if the last median the last 6 will be the median left hand side it will have 5 plus n plus 17 not 18 because one of the 6 will consider as median right hand side 15 plus 16 okay will be on right hand side since you take the median here the number of data on left hand side was same as the number of data on right hand side so you can solve this equation 15 plus 16 minus 17 minus 5 the least possible n will be 9 okay the least possible n is 9 let's finish part b and go to part c could the mean of the data be 6 okay let's find the mean by using formula 4 times 5 plus 5n plus 6 times 6 18 plus 7 times 15 plus 8 times 16 okay over 5 plus n plus 18 plus 15 plus 16 I set it equal to 6 then what you need to do is find n so I plug in the numerator first 4 times 5 uh, there's a, a long story plus 6 times 18 plus 7 times 15 plus 8 times 16 numerator 361 plus 5n equals 6 times such a thing so 5 plus 18 plus 15 plus 16 n plus 54 so you can solve n that is 361 minus 6 times 54 n equals to 37 so yes it is possible as n is an integer if you find that n is an integer then it is possible otherwise it is not possible okay and that's the end of question number eight so go to question number nine a right circular cone is cut into two parts by a plane which is parallel to each face. So, suppose there's a cone. It cuts into two parts parallel to each face and split into two parts. I call it as okay, X and Y, suppose. And these two volume are the same. Volume of X equals to volume of y now if the ratio of the height of the upper part to the lower part is 1 to h find h so let's do it in this way the key observation is note that the solid x and solid x plus y the whole cone are similar there's a key observation the small cone x and the big cone x plus y are similar so the height ratio of the small cone will be 1 and the height of the big cone will be 1 plus h pay attention here the small cone okay support is 1 okay by one part and the lower part okay h so the small cone occupy one part the big cone occupy one over h part considering the height some of you may let the height of the smaller cone be k and the height of the larger cone be one plus h bracket k it doesn't matter because you just cancel the factor then at the cube the cube of the length ratio equals to the volume ratio that is the small volume x over the big volume 2 
because these two volume are equal x and y with the same volume so the volume of x to the volume of x plus y will be 1 to 2 hence you can solve the equation 1 over 1 plus h will equals to 1 over 2 to the power 1 over 3 or uh, cube root some of you may write in this way it's also okay so use calculator to find this value 1 over 1 plus h equals to now uh, let me press it okay that should be 1 over 2 to the power 1 over 3 press this one that is 0 0.793700526 then you can solve h h will be equal to 1 over this value and then minus 1 so h equal to 0 0.2599 21049 and of course you can get the final answer 2 point 0 0.260 please fade it's okay so part B if the ratio of the curved surface area uh, of the upper part and the lower part is 1 to K find K actually you are doing the same stuff okay since you know that 1 over k that is the area ratio of the lower part to the whole part okay remember 1 plus k because the lower part is 1 the smaller cone and the whole part 1 plus k will be the big cone when you are considering this one then take square root that is the length ratio again okay originally without the square root you are finding the length of uh, the area ratio okay but you now take the square root it become the length ratio all right and then you take cube then become the volume ratio so you are doing the same stuff to solve this equation 1 over 1 plus k and then take square root equals to 1 over 2 to the power 1 third actually equals to this number okay as you can find and how do we remove this square root you will take square so 1 over 1 plus k actually equals to 1 over 2 to the bracket 2 over 3 then use the calculator to press this 1 over 2 to the power 2 over 3 you press in this way and then enter that's 0 0.62 something 0 0.62996052424 then you can find k that is 1 over this number and then minus 1 1 divided by this answer and then minus 1 so you get k that is 0 0.58740 something and of course you can write down 0 0.5873 so that's the end of part b and that's the end of this paper thank you